This is Eric Hunter, and I want to show you some new pendulums. So this here is the King Tut pendulum that I designed. It's a variation on the Isis pendulum and the Karnak pendulum. It has this really nice little ball shape here. And it has a very strong energy, very laser-like focused energy. It's really good. And it's gold-plated. So when you hear on a website about a pendulum having the vibration of gold, it can only have the vibration of gold if it has real gold on it or if it's made of solid gold. Now, solid gold pendulums are extremely expensive <laughs> to produce. Um, I've looked into it and it's just, you know, out of the price range of the average person. But you can get the same effect with gold plating because gold plating is on the surface and the pendulum interacts with environmental energies that are hitting the surface of the pendulum. So you get the same effect as if it was solid gold. So it works really well. All right, now this particular pendulum here is very sensitive. So it will move easily for dowsing. So let's see, uh, now when you douse, your hand is what moves the pendulum. So sometimes people say, oh, I gotcha, I saw you move your hand. Well, guess what, that's how I douse. So everyone douses, whether you know it or not, it's your hand that's moving the pendulum. But you can see this one's, without me even doing anything, it's kind of like quivering, it's kind of bobbling, moving around. And that means it's a very good dowsing pendulum because it will show you the directions quickly. So let's see if I can get it to change directions. Yeah, so a very subtle, subtle movements of my hand, it will completely shift direction. And I don't even have to do very much to get that to happen. So this is a really good pendulum for dowsing because when you have a dowsing pendulum, you want that pendulum to be moving the entire time. You never want to start with a still pendulum I, because that completely negates the whole purpose of dowsing, like the whole way that dowsing works, because the only way you get an answer is when the pendulum moves. And if you're what if you like take a pendulum and you try to make it perfectly still before you start, you're inhibiting the movement that will give you the answer. So just always get the pendulum moving first. And this pendulum is really good for that. But I mostly use it for pendulum commands. So I use it for pendulum alchemy or pendulum healing. So I would say something like raise consciousness of everyone watching this video to the highest level possible. And then the pendulum spins around in a circle until it goes side to side when it finishes. So now I've sent that command out into the ethers and it is raised your consciousness just a little bit. All right, let me show you another one that I got that I designed recently. It has very, very different energy. This one I call the Aladdin. It has a very sort of like, like Eastern sort of look to it, almost like a teapot or something, almost like Eastern European or, or um, you know, Saudi Arabian or something like that, like for the Middle East. So this is a really nice, pendulum. I mean, it's very good for the dowsing. Again, you can see it's like a, one way you can tell if a pendulum is good for dowsing is does it move when you just hold it? So like if it's moving around a lot and you're not even doing much or you're not even asking questions and it's kind of like dancing almost like see this one's just kind of dancing around very subtle movements of my hand are just causing this thing to move. And this even has a very thick string on it. So if I put a thinner string on it, it would move even more. All right, so that's a good sign that it's a good dowsing pendulum. So you see it goes one direction, very subtle hand movements, it goes one direction and then it will go the other direction very quickly and change direction. And it has a nice tip on it, so it's good for dowsing. Now it's also really good for doing the energy healing work the, or the pendulum healing or pendulum alchemy. But this one here has a very unique energetic like property or field. It's almost like a torus or a ring coming out around it. And it's extremely powerful. And you can feel it. It's like it, it this one here, the King Tut is powerful, but it's different. It's very laser like, like the, the energy is all the light and all the energy is coming off it kind of in a very focused beam. You can feel it on your hand, like intense sort of pressure, not a bad intense, but like a very strong pressure. This one, it's like a spotlight or something. It's like a, like a wave of energy coming out of the bottom of it and around the sides. So you could really feel it. So this one would be really good for doing work on the aura and the chakras. 
But since it has a nice elongated shape, it's also really good for distance healing. And it has that nice vibration of gold quality, whatever, you know, the qualities of gold, like spiritual purity, um, healing properties of it, it has it too, because it's gold plated. So nice dowsing pendulum, very, very interesting energy. This is really unlike any other pendulum on the market. The only one that, that's similar to this is the egg pendulum that I've designed, the flower of life that's like an egg. Um, this has somewhat similar energy in that it's a broad field, um, but it's, it's also very strong coming down. And, and like I said, it almost feels like a ring of energy around it. All right, I have one more I wanna show you here. It's another really nice one I designed. So I call this one the golden light pendulum. It's another gold plated pendulum. And like I said before, you can only have the vibration of gold with a real gold pendulum over the gold plated pendulum. Because gold has a different molecular structure than brass. It's a noble um, element, it's a pure element. So you can't get that effect from brass. Okay, so we have this beautiful pendulum here, and this one also has a very different energy. So if you're new to pendulums and you are like learning about them, the shape of the pendulum causes it to have a different energy. And when I say energy, I mean the ability to do work. So when you put this into a human aura, like you stick this into someone's energy field, you put it over their chakras, in their aura, the body responds and it has an effect and you know like you can use these things for like helping with healing like you can just put it over an injured body part and it will spin around and it will bring it into resonance the energy with the body part and then the body part can have a healing response you can also use it to send signals called commands like statements of intention so each one depending on its shape will have a different quality to the quote unquote energy which is basically the ability to cause changes or to influence or to stimulate a change. So it's like that you put this thing into the energy field, it stimulates a response. And now, you know, scientifically, there's no way to quantify this, but if you're a clairvoyant or if you're energy sensitive, when you pick this pendulum up and you, you start looking at it, being in its presence, touching it, feeling it like coming down the energy on you, it feels very different than this one it feels very different than this one. Each one feels very different. So if you have any kind of psychic ability or clairvoyance or anything like that, you can really sense the difference in these different pendulums. You might even feel it in this video. Like I used to do this thing where I point the pendulum at the people in the video and they'd be like, sometimes they'd be too intense. They'd be like, stop, sorry, I just did it to you. <laughs> All right, I'll neutralize any effects of that if it was unpleasant. All right, so raise everyone's consciousness to the highest level possible. Now see, it didn't spin that much because I already did that before. So I'm gonna send love and healing to you who are the watcher of this video. And I'm gonna ask that you harmonize relationships between you and everyone that you know right now for your highest good, their highest good, and the highest good of all concern. So I'm using this with a command. Now this one, like I said, has a different energy and I didn't really explain the energy on this one. So this one, like the Aladdin pendulum, this golden light pendulum has a very broad energy field, but it's, it's much more like a column coming straight down. The Aladdin was more like a donut ring, like a torus coming out from it and emanating out on the sides too. This one is, is like a very, very like powerful column of energy just coming down and the King Tut is more like a laser beam of energy shooting down. So each one of these is very different and it will have a different effect. So what I do when I do this pendulum alchemy or pendulum healing, I'll, I'll intuitively pick a pendulum that I think is the right one and I'll just give it a try and see what happens. So with a healing, it can be very easy. So like, let's say, you know, you have a non-emergency situation like you stub your toe or something and it really hurts like you you don't need to go to the hospital you don't need to go to a doctor for that but it's unpleasant and it hurts and you want to do something about it immediately so you can take a pendulum like this golden light and just hold it right over your toe and you might be surprised that very quickly the pain goes away 
Now you could also add a command with that, like witness total healing or send the blue green energy. Now this particular pendulum, I believe creates like it emanates a blue green energy from light in the environment due to its shape. Anyway, so that stimulates healing response too, but you can also add a command. Um, blue green is the energy of health. It's the energy of the summertime youth. So send blue green energy. Okay. Now, let's say it didn't work like let's say you're like oh my my toe still really hurts you know I, I need to do something else you can just try a different pendulum and sometimes that will be enough to cause the change i've had that happen many times where i'll try something and then the person's like well that didn't quite make my headache go away or i still feel a little bit of pain from that burn that i got or you know whatever it is and then you just try a different pendulum out and lo and behold it will work so it's really good to have different pendulums. It gives you different options for sending different energies. And like I said, these energies are very hard to describe because they're based on clairvoyant sensing. Your body senses them. Like if, whether you're aware of it or not, you will respond differently to each one of these. But you know, trying to describe it in like an objective scientific way is somewhat of a challenge. So I do the best I can to try to explain what they, what they feel like, what I think their energy qualities are in the descriptions on the website. But at the end of the day, you just got to try them out and see which one, you know, feels right or which one actually just gets the result you're looking for in a given situation. All right, so these are some really nice new designs. Um, there's really nothing quite like them on the market right now. And very, 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 very fine energy quality on these. These are some of the nicest pendulums I've ever, you know, created or had available. So I highly recommend if you're into pendulums, check it out. And like I said, really good for dowsing. Even the, even the big one here, the golden U, let's see, it's very responsive to the dowsing. So, you know, there, there it goes. It's already moving right away. Very subtle movements of my hand and the pendulum is already shifting. So it's very good for dowsing because dowsing your hand moves it and they have super energy and they have the added benefit of the gold plating. Not only does the gold plating prevent it from tarnishing or getting like kind of old looking, like if you, do, if you use a brass pendulum, you have to polish it a lot because they lose their shine. The gold doesn't lose its shine. But like I said before, you also get that vibratory quality of the gold because gold is a element and it's on the surface so it interacts with everything that comes into the proximity of the pendulum so really nice added benefit there thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and please check out my website pendulumalchemy.com to learn more about how to do pendulum healing um, different pendulums i have available i have a wide selection of really amazing unique pendulums on my website that you know if you're into pendulums or you are into energy healing, you will really appreciate these pendulums. I, I pick really good ones and I design my own designs as well. So thank you for watching this. Check out my website. Have a great day. Bye.